Good evening. Good evening. Bear good with evening. us. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Good morning. I'm good evening. It's been a day, y'all. Prophet is best. Minister Adjison. Deaconess Flowers. Diaria. Good evening. Good evening. Hey, Prophet is Quita. Janisha. Hey, Rasheen. <laughs> Elder Rasheen. Mom, RB, cousin, Deacon, Reggie Boston. <laughs> hey, Brittany. And Sister Belinda. Demetria Grant, welcome. Hey, Tam. Y'all ready? Sister Linda, how are you? Hey, Coco. Deacon Rod, how are you? Tori, hello. Hey. Hello, hello, hello. Intercessor Constance. Angela Wheeler, how are you? Hey, Barbara. Minister Ernest Jett. Deaconess Keetra. Good evening. Hey, Tiffany. <laughs> Rasheem, you know you are our honorary elder. I can't wait for uh to, to introduce you to everybody. <laughs> Deacon Rodney, how are y'all? Deborah, hello. Hello, everyone. Y'all, it's been a day for us. It's been a can, and let's keep um, Sister Monica Davis and her family in prayer um, as we ministered her mom's homegoing service this afternoon, earlier this, this afternoon. Let's keep her in our prayers. <laughs> Thank you, Brittany. Hey, Kayla. Give some more people time to come in. Hey, Sister Tawana. Y'all ready for the word? Don't y'all miss Strong Tower? Don't y'all miss the building? Don't y'all miss the gathering? Don't y'all miss the family reunion that we had every Wednesday, every Saturday, every Sunday, and any other service that we might have had? <laughs> Amen. Hey, Natasha. I got you, Coco. Lucy, how are you? Um, we're praying for you and your family continuously. Welcome to Strong Tower, y'all. Welcome to our our midweek service. Uh, and then we're praying that this service is going to take you into your Saturday again, uh, into pro pro prophetic impartation on Saturday mornings at 9 a.m. And if you would like to be a part of that service, inbox me and say, Prophetess, I would like to be a part of uh, prophetic impartation, but you have to become my Facebook friend first in order for me to to um, to invite you in. Amen. 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 Father, we thank you on this evening and we give you praise. We love you, God. If we haven't said it, in, there, there's just not enough I love you. I love you for you, God. God, we just honor you. We give you praise and we thank you that you have allowed us to come into your presence on this evening, Lord God. 
There are many that cannot say that, Lord. There are many that wish they could say it, Father, from a hospital room, Father God, from a, a, a nursing home, God. But you have given us, these your people, activation of our limbs, Father, and our first limb is our mouth, Father. And so we stand in the gap for those who can't say hallelujah, Father God. We are interceding for someone on today, God on behalf of their health, Lord, on behalf of their mindsets, Father, on behalf of, of, of family members and friends, oh, Father. God, we just thank you that you've allowed us to come into your presence, God. Yes. Lord, we just, oh, I just can't get past. Thank you, Father. Thank you. There's so much happening in this world today, Father, and you saw fit to give each one of us on this live another opportunity to get it right. And with these lips, God, we ask for forgiveness. Yes. We ask, God, that you would forgive us for anything that we may have said, done, or even thought that goes against your principles, Lord, that would cause the kingdom to grieve, Father. We know, God, that we are imperfect people serving a perfect God, but, God, we strive to do better day by day, God, and we lay everything at the altar on this evening, Father, so we can pick up what you would have us to pick up, Lord God. As we stand in the gap again, Father, for someone, we know that we can't stand with things in our hands, God. So we lay it at your feet. We put it at the feet of Jesus. We know that he's already hung for it, Father God. But he's at the right hand of you, Father, interceding for everything that we may uh, say, God. All of our requests, Father God, we thank you that He, you, you saw fit to give us your son, Lord God to be the mediator, Lord, and we thank you for that, God. We thank you, Lord God, and we honor you. We ask that you would have your way on this live tonight, Father God, this midweek service to take us a little farther, and ask that you would, would bless the man and woman of God with a rich word, a rhema word that's going to minister to these, your people, and we will count it all joy and forever give your name the praise, and it is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Hey, Zandra, I see you come on today. Hey, Mother, I was not on earlier to welcome everyone. So welcome, 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 as Prophetess already said, to our midweek service. To our VIPs, our first-time visitors, I hope you're enjoying this broadcast thus far. And if you ever desire to be a member of Strong Tower, just please go to our website, strongtowercm.org, and just contact us, and we will... Make sure someone get in contact with you and you will not be a number. You will truly be a member. We're yes. continuing to improve our, not even our norm. This is our norm for now, our norm of doing church to bring those into the house of God that truly want to go a little bit further. So we say thank you to each and every one of you that are here with us. Our leadership, our membership, our friends of the tower, we just thank you for trusting us this evening. Hallelujah. Um, I definitely don't want to allow you to miss out on this great opportunity that we're doing. If you went on to our Strong Tower Facebook page, you will see that we are selling t-shirts that say everything is going our way in the Lord. And it has tower going down the middle. So if you want to purchase a t-shirt, um, contact us, put it on realm. If you're a member, you know what to do. Put your size, your color, and your gender of the t-shirt. And, um, if you're out of town, just put your address in and we will make sure you get your shirt. And I think everything got the extra large. It's just a $2 extra charge yes. for those that have to go above extra large. And we're doing them in bulk issue to keep the cost down. So when we hit our bulk issue number, we will definitely um, get our distributor to do the first order and we will get those t-shirts out to you. So they're... 20 and $30, depending on which one you're going to purchase. So just go to our webpage and you'll see it on there that will give you how to order your t-shirts. Because when we get back together very shortly, I want everybody to have a t-shirt on. And we want to let the world know, in spite of the COVID, in spite of the uproar in the country, in spite of everything yes. that's going on, everything is still going our way in, in the, the Lord. Lord. So we're going to just keep celebrating that. I don't even call our mother uh, uh, the covering. Pastor Valerie Holcomb over Kristen House of Prayer. She was the one that sent out our mantra for 2020. And we need to have perfect vision to understand in spite of everything, every in spite of everything that's going on, 
everything is still going our way in the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I think Prophet has already said it again. I want to send my condolences out and our prayers and our love to Monica Davis and her family in the uh, promotion of our mother um, this afternoon. We, we truly did. Uh, our heart goes out to her as we did her home going service this afternoon. So for all of you out there, please keep her in your prayers, her and her family. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So <clears throat> today is going to be a continuation from Sunday's message. I'm going to go ahead and give the title and then we'll get into the backdrop of it. Our title for Sunday was Don't Be Pulled Out of Your Blessed Place. This is going to be part two. However, our real subtitle for this message today is Know Who is Doing the Pulling. Know Who's Doing the Pulling. About to get happy already, y'all. <laughs> Before you even start trying to Jesus. point the finger, let me build the case because maybe you're pointing the finger at the wrong person. <clears throat> and I'm going to go ahead and give you the secret to the answer. If you're looking in the mirror, then you're doing the right pointing. But I just want you to know, don't be pulled out of your blessed place and know who's doing the pulling. Mm -hmm. We love to point the finger, let's go ahead, at the enemy, but the enemy is really doing the pulling. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So know who's doing the pulling. I want to read our text from, and it, it begins in the Gospel of Luke, the 15th chapter, beginning at the 11th verse. The Gospel of Luke, the Dr. Luke, the 15th chapter, beginning at the 11th verse, and I'll conclude at the 32nd verse. Ooh. And I want to read it, and it's an easy reading. <laughs> it's long, but it's an easy reading. And I want to read this time from the New Living Translation. Once again, the Gospel of Luke, <clears throat> the 15th chapter, beginning at the 11th verse. I need and my help. And I want to lead it. You want to read it? No, I mean, you, you, we can split it up if you want. Okay, I'll split it up when I get to the 12 verses. So I'll just tap you. Amen. And we're going to split this up. And uh, Luke, the 15th chapter, beginning at the 11th verse. And God words read, and once again, the New Living Translation. Jesus said, to illustrate this point further, Jesus told them this story. A man had two sons. The younger son told his father, I want my share of your estate now before you die. Mm -hmm. So his father agreed to divide his wealth between his sons. A few days later, this young son packed all his belongings and moved to a distant land. And there he wasted all his money in wild living. Ab about that time, his money ran out. A great famine swept over the land. And he began to starve. He persuaded, I mean, he pursued a local farmer to hire him. And the man sent him into his fields to feed the pigs. The young man became so hungry that even the pods he was feeding the pigs looked good to him. But no one gave him anything. When he finally came to his senses, he said to himself, at home, even the hired servants have food enough to spare. And here I am dying of hunger. I will go home to my father and say, Father, I have sinned against both heaven and you. Am I, am I, and I am no longer worthy of being called your son. Please take me on as a hired servant. So he returned home to his father. And while he was Still a long way off, his father saw him coming. Filled with love and compassion, he ran to his son, embraced him, and kissed him. His son said to him, Father, I have sinned against both heaven and you, and I am no longer worthy of being called your son. But his father said to the servant, Quick, bring the finest robe in the house and put it on him. Get a ring for his finger and sandals for his feet and kill the calf we have, been fat, we have been fattening. We must celebrate with a feast for this son of mine was dead and has now returned to life. 
He was lost, but now he's found. So, so the party began. Meanwhile, the oldest son was in the field working. When he returned home, he heard music and dancing in the house. And he asked one of the servants, what's going on? Your brother is back, he said. He was told, and your father has killed the fatted calf. We're celebrating because of his safe return. The older brother was angry and wouldn't go in. His father came out and, beget, and begged him. But he replied, all these years I've slaved for you mm -hmm. and never once refused to do a single thing you told me. And in all that time, you never gave me even one young goat for a feast mm -hmm. with my friends. Mm -hmm. Yet when this son of yours come back after slaughtering your money on prostitutes or squandering your money on prostitutes, forgive me, you celebrate by killing the fatted calf. His father said to him, look, dear son, you have always stayed by me and everything I have is yours. We had to celebrate this happy day for your brother was dead and has come back to life. He was lost, but now he is found. Lord have mercy. So to build this point today, and I want you to really understand this chapter of Luke began in the first chapter talking about a parable, a, a few parables Jesus spoke. Mm -hmm. He spoke the first parable about having 100 sheep mm -hmm. and one goes lost. And the parable goes on and say he will leave the 99 and go search or go find the one that was lost. Mm -hmm. The next parable is a woman that had 10 pieces of silver. She loses one piece, and then it says she swept the whole house until she found that one piece of silver. Yes. And the thing about both of those parables, it says that they both called their friends and their neighbors to celebrate that what was found. Mm -hmm. And here we come into the 11th verse, and sometimes we call this the crowning jewel of the parables. This is the story of the prodigal son. Prodigal son mean this and the adjective mean wasteful or reckless. In the noun, it means a person who spends or has spent his or her money on substance with wasteful extravagance. That's what it means to be a prodigal son. Mm -hmm. You just someone that wasted everything. So let us build this text today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And I want to build it. I, I read it out of the New Living Translation so that we would have a good, or we read it out of the New Living Translation so that we would have a better understanding of this text. So let's start at the 11th verse, if you allow us to warm this engine and get going to, to really identify who is pulling us out. Amen. In this text, in the 11th verse, it said, and he said a certain man had two sons. Meaning that we all start or may be in the same place, but it doesn't mean we behave the same. Let me put it this way. Yeah. We may be planted in the same place, yes. but we may not all produce the same fruit. Mm -mm. So he made this text. He said, amen. And we know when he's talking about this man, he's talking about God had two sons. Yes. He didn't say one. He said two, mm -hmm. meaning more than the son, Jesus Christ, yes. because Jesus was the became the son of man so we can become the children of God. Mm -hmm. So he wanted to make the distinction that all of us are under the same father under the same man God. Yes. He said that a he said a certain man. Mm -hmm. Not just a man, a certain man had two sons. Come on. And it said the younger of them said to his father, "Father, give me the portion of good that falleth to me." This is King James version. And he divided unto them his leaving. Mm -hmm. Nothing falls to us until the father has gone on. Yes. Or died. Yes. It just in this study reminded me of uh, Elijah and Elijah. Mm -hmm. When Elijah said, when you see me taken away mm -hmm. and the mantle fall to you, yes. you can get the double portion. Mm -hmm. Now, this is so profound in this. He, This is the younger son asking for the double portion. Mm -hmm. 
Now, this attitude wasn't just formed in this parable. Mm -hmm. I thought about this when we were doing the study. When you go back to Genesis uh, 3 mm -hmm. and, and, and 1 through 6, mm -hmm. during the time of the beginning, it always say nothing falls to you until the Father is gone or moved on. Yes. But this is an attitude of the enemy that pulls us out that started in the beginning mm -hmm. and we're still trying to fix it today. Right. May I make it plain? Make it plain. In this text, this is not a father issue. It is a son issue. Mm -hmm. And if you, uh, I'm not even going to talk to them today, but they know who I'm talking to. We talked about this. If it was a father issue, the father would have came. Yes. But because it is a son issue, he sent his only begotten son. Mm -hmm. Yes. So in the beginning in, Jesus, in Genesis 3, mm -hmm. we understand that it never was a father issue, but it is the offspring of the, of the father that has the issue. Yes. So he had to send the son. Yes. Let me make it plain. <laughs> Sonship. Sonship. <laughs> yes. Adam, the first Adam was the son of God. Mm -hmm. And I, may I make this so plain? Make it plain. Because the father formed him and made him out of his own image. Mm -hmm. I don't care who you are out there. Some form of fashion, I've seen Chelsea put this on social media, what did I get from my father? Something to that effect on social media. I didn't read all the comments, but I heard a few of the comments. Even if you get the nose and the feet from your father, you got something from your father. If you are from him, there's something that you possess from that, from your parents, Yes. whether you agree with it or not. Yes. So we see here in Genesis, we have Adam mm -hmm. who possessed something from his father. Mm -hmm. And here it is in Genesis 3, at the possession, he told him that if you eat from these trees, you will surely die. Mm -hmm. He didn't know what he was getting. Right. And the real thing that pulled him out, mm -hmm. and we understand in this text, and, and I, I won't go all through the whole deal of it, but we understand it was the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, mm -hmm. that when the enemy came in, he did not pull them out and I'm going to show it. We're going to show it in the text. He baited them out. Mm. But if you don't bite the bait, you can't get pulled out. Not only if you don't bite it, but you got to like what he's dangling in yes, front of you. Yes, that's very good. If mm -hmm. you like what the enemy is presenting <laughs> in front of you, it will pull you out. Mm -hmm. So, and this is the other thing that we have to remember, lust Mm -hmm. Lust is lust. We look at it as in terms of sex, but it's not always sex. It's whatever your flesh wants to make you feel good. Mm -hmm. Whatever the bait is, if you got, if you on a power trip and someone comes and want to offer you something that's going to make you feel powerful, mm -hmm. you will move on it. Mm -hmm. So... And and you remember what the when when Eve told um, the serpent what Adam taught her because mm -hmm. that's who taught the lesson mm -hmm. to her. She's and he said we will surely die if we eat this. Mm -hmm. And the first thing the enemy said, no, you won't. You will not surely die. Mm -hmm. He said the reason he said it, he said God don't want you to eat this because you will be, be like, like him. him. Mm -hmm. Now you got to imagine this when you're in your blessed place. Everything in the garden was theirs, right. except that, one. Well, yes. And yes. when you think of that one, think of the I. Yes. The I. Mm -hmm. I know the English, we do it up, but the I. The I. Mm -hmm. It is just one thing that they could not happen. Yes. They were in the blessed place, but this one thing pulled them out. Uh, yes. And it wasn't him. It was the bait. It was the bait. It was the thing that baited him oh them in God. that they snatched out of the place mm, mm, mm. that they were living in. Mm, mm, mm. That they were living in. Come on, man. What has what has the enemy dangled in front of you that has snatched you out of the place that you were living in? Mm -hmm. Even if you were living in your right mind and he dangled something into in your face that made you something that that he knows that you're gonna like mm -hmm. and it has pulled you out of your blessed place 
a place where you are growing and flourishing. We have to be careful of what we want or what you, the one thing, one thing about us is, especially those of us that, well, I, I can't even say just the ones of us that's in God, in God and out of God. When somebody tells us that we can't have something, that thing's going to continue to agitate us because we want to know why we can't have it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And look what, the, and I just read this again. I didn't read the text. And when he said, you would not surely die, this is the enemy talking to Eve in the garden. He mm -hmm. said, for God do know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be open mm -hmm. and ye shall be as God's little G. Yes. Knowing good and evil. evil. Now, this is the thing that I just heard. <sighs> when they were in the garden, mm -hmm. the only thing they knew was God. Yes. And look what he said. You will know good and evil. And good has one too many O's. Everything was good because they knew God, but you was about to look for something good and it wasn't God because of the bait. Yes, because of the bait. They were already in God, so everything in God was good, but he enticed them and saying, you are in God and it's good, but I'm telling you, if you eat this, you're really going to see what is good and what, what is, is evil. evil. Mm -hmm. And when you're in the presence of God. My God. Mm, you don't have to worry about good and evil because you're in the presence of God. You're only going to get the good in the presence of God. I'm talking about in the garden. It mm -hmm. was all good. Everything yes. was there. He said, just don't eat of this tree. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Until you eat of it you're going to get the manifestation of it. Mm -hmm. If you do what, the, just resist it, you'll be all right. Lord have mercy. The eye is baiting you out. And, and the thing about when, when something is baiting you out and what's on the, you got the bait on the hook, but who's also holding the rod? Mm -hmm. Who's holding the bait? Mm -hmm. Because manipulation is holding it. A liar is holding it. You know you're growing and flourishing in a blessed place with God. You, you're living and you're doing what thus says the word of God. But the enemy brings something to you that makes your flesh feel good. Maybe you had a bad, he waits for you to have a bad day. Mm -hmm. he, he waits for you to, for those moments where, where everything looks like it's going haywire. And instead of us looking to God, what he reminds us of is something that's old. Mm -hmm. It's something, it, it's a bait. So uh, let me let me move down the road. Okay. We move, let, move and you're down. right there. I want to come back okay. to it because my uh, note says this. Okay. Verse 13 said, and not many days after the young son gathered all together, mm -hmm. uh, um, together all, all together and took his journey into a far country and there wasted his substance with riotous living. Yes. James 1, 13 through 17 said this, let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of God, for God cannot be tempted with evil, mm -hmm. neither tempted he any man. But every man is tempted when he's a drawn away of his own lust and enticed. Yes. This word enticed, that's why I was trying to, I was sitting there saying, oh, she's good. It's a bait. Mm -hmm. They are enticed because the word entice in the Greek means to bait. Or to catch by a bait. Yes. It means to beguile. Yes. Or lure. Yes. Or deceive. Yes. And this is the thing that a bait does. A bait is on the outside, but there's always something hidden inside it. Mm -hmm. When I, I'm just talking to a few people out there that are fishermen. When we call baiting the hook, we take the worm and we run the hook through the worm mm -hmm. and hide the hook. Yes. But we leave enough of it hanging off so that it will look real. That's good. <laughs> that it looks like a free swimming worm. Yes. And look what the enemy would do. He would leave enough out there mm -hmm. that it looks like the thing that you want to do. Yes. But when you bite down into it, yes. Lord you end up biting the hook and then we call this in in fishing, then you got to set the hook. Mm. He don't snatch you out the water mm -mm. first. What he does is as soon as you bite down, he 
sets the hook. He pulls on it enough so that it sticks into the fish jaws yes. or within his mouth. Mm -hmm. And no matter how hard he, let me change that. They wanted to pull because the harder the fish pulls from it, the deeper the hook sets Sick. in. Mm -hmm. And then what they do is we allow the fish to run to get weary and we pull him in. When he starts to fight, we let him believe that he's running mm -hmm. and then he's end up getting closer. Mm -hmm. And the reason why he's getting closer because the more he pulls, the deeper the fish hook sets, the harder it is for them to break loose. Mm -hmm. And let mm -hmm. me say this, and I, I'm not trying to do fishing. I got my fishing buddies on, on this live with me right now. There, sometimes it, it comes in fish and sometimes when you pull the fish out the bait is the hook is not even in their jaw mm -hmm. it's swallowed mm, lord have mercy and so you can't pull the you don't pull the hook off out you just cut it and leave it in wow and sometimes we have swallowed the hook so deep that it's left in us and we wonder why it's always such a... He, if we snatch it out, we pull out the insides. Yes. And we don't want to do that when we're ready for the fish. Let me, let me get off that. That ain't nothing to do with fishing. But I would just want somebody to know this right now. The enemy lose bait. God uses a net. Mm, that's so good. That is good. Absolutely. It's, it's in the scripture. Absolutely. <laughs> he told Peter, he said, launch out Absolutely. in the deep. Absolutely. He said, cast your net on the other side yes and he said cast down your nets that's what the text said yes. and he said we've been out here but at your word i'm gonna cast down a net mm -hmm. and when he threw down his net he brought in so many fish that they say the boat was about to drown it was going down mm -hmm. he even called his friends and it was about to sink it mm -hmm. so god is not concerned mm -hmm. about the fish he's a concerned about catching them all mm -hmm. oh man this thing is is starting to work on me right now you you put the bait on the hook according to what type of fish you want to catch. Right. You hear that? The bait on the hook is according to what type of fish you want to catch. So if you have lust in your heart, I'm going to entice you with something that deals with the lust of your flesh. Yes. If it's an eye thing you have, I want to I wanna put something on there that's going to catch your eye. Yes. If it's your pride or anything that makes, that's the thing that I'm going to entice you mm -hmm. with. And listen, every time we think we got it conquered, the enemy is a wolf. He's not fast. If you don't like this bait, it's not, the fishing game is not over. He finds a different bait. Mm -hmm. You may have won against this one. He said, oh, you didn't like that one? I'm going to send this one to you. Right. Mm, you don't like that one? I'm going to send something else to you. And listen, I don't care if your name pastor, your name prophetess, bishop, apostle. It don't matter. <laughs> it don't matter. He's still fishing. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. I like what somebody said. He's on his job, and the problem is he's on his job, but we're not on ours. Right. Right. <laughs> Come on now. It is going to be according to the fish that he wants. He's going to put your bait. So he's strategic. He's strategic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's enticing. Yes. Ooh, you good, baby? I'm good. Okay, let's, let's look at verse 14. It says this, And when he had spent all, there arose a mighty famine in the land, and he began to be in want. What? That word famine is he began to be hungry, and we like this word, a lack of food. Yes. A lack of food. We already preached this, and I'm going to let you handle this. When we was in Amos 11 and 12, it says this, and we taught this, what the famine will be in this time. And it said, Behold, the day comes, saith the Lord, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, not a thirst for water, but of hearing the word of the Lord. Lord have mercy. Now, isn't this something? When Come you on. finish doing all what you wanted to do, mm -hmm. now there's a famine. Yep. That's how it normally goes. When you, when we, I'm, when y'all know when we say you, we talking about us. I'm preaching into this, this live. I can see my face, but I want you to, I'm preaching in the mirror. When we get finished doing what we want to do. Yep. Then we realize there's a famine. Mm -hmm. After you done parted up all of your check. Yes. After you done did and, and what we we went out there and parted it up or yep. whatever it may be. Yep. 
Now the famine comes. Yes. After you know, forsook the word or turned your back on God mm -hmm. to do whatever it is that you wanted to do. Whatever it is that pulled you out there. Whatever you mm -hmm. made your God. Mm -hmm. Then here comes the famine. Then here comes the famine. When boo boo mm -hmm. gone. <laughs> When Nini gone. <laughs> this is so powerful. It's like, and, and y'all, people, just be a witness with me. In this thing, when you try to preach to somebody when everything going good, they don't want to hear it. Nope. It's too but good. It's, it, their life is too good. They don't want to hear the word when mm -hmm. everything's going nope. good. But as soon as things start going bad, they run back oh, into the church God. or they inbox you, they text you, they try to take your time. Will you pray for me? Could I could you could you come and give me a word? Now hear what I'm saying. I'm not saying we should we should stop them from giving the word or we shouldn't give them a word. This is what I'm saying. The person who should have filled up before the famine, now they're running in when there's a famine. Yes. Yeah. Why can't we get prepared like the ant and store up before the off season, yes. before the famine? Oh, and God. then we will have something stored up for the famine that would help us make it through the famine. Yes, yes, yes. It was yes. Joseph that, that the Pharaoh entrusted with everything mm -hmm. because he had the insight for oversight and said, there's going to be years of famine. And he left it in the hands of the man that were capable of doing it. He was another parable that 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 is in the Bible of the ant. Yes. They work hard during the during the seasons of plenty. They store up for when it becomes winter time. Mm -hmm. And here we have mm -hmm. people in the Bible, mm -hmm. just like this prodigal son. What pulled him out was his own lust, yes. his own selfishness. Pulled him out of the house of God because he thought that if he had what was in the father's hand, he was going to have what he needed. But and we I'm, I'm, I'm moving on in the story a little bit, but it's what's in the you need to have what's in the father's heart. You'll mm -hmm. always have what is in his hand. Right. Right. Mm. I'm, I'm just pausing for you, baby. I, I, I'm there's such a famine. It is such a famine because. Mm. You know, we see, we see people flood the church in fear. We see them flood the church in depression. We see them flood the church in anger. But you got to know that these seasons are going to come. The best thing to do is to stay in it. Stay in it. When you are, we, we preach the word in season. Mm-hmm. And out of season. Mm -hmm. You should want to hear the word in season and out of season. Mm -hmm. He said, have something stored up. You need something in your reserve. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when they, when when you don't or uh, can't get to nobody, you got something that you can pull on in yourself that's going to feed you. Mm -hmm. Yes. You got a storehouse because you never left the house of God. Uh. You never left. You never left uh, your blessed place. But but this is the thing that gets me with people. And I ain't talking to nobody on this live. I'm yeah. praying I'm not. Is that when an issue comes, you've been here before, but when an issue come, you come flying to the altar and you expect God to move because you got an issue. Mm -hmm. You want the word now. And really, you don't want the word. All you really want is the thing that you're going through is to be over. So you want somebody to speak over it or, or, or pull our God out of a, out of that little genie thing mm -hmm. and put them on your situation. Mm -hmm. And that's not how it works. Mm -hmm. So there's a famine. Mm -hmm. You want the word, but you really don't even want the real word. You just want enough to get you through. You want to soothsay a word. You want to soothsay a word. And this is, you said something that it, that was so, he said, when you have an issue, but when God was issuing out the word, where were you? Yes. You wasn't in line. Yes. And it is the same story of when everything is going good, is the best time to dig into the word even the more yes. because seasons are coming. Yes. The natural and the spiritual. They are There are coming. seasons of harvest. 
then there's seven seasons of fall away. Mm -hmm. And then when everything is, is, has dried up, I can remember when I was a little girl, and in the summer months, my grandmother used to can stuff. She used to can tomatoes mm -hmm. and can the peaches and, and pears, and she used to store them on a shelf. Mm -hmm. And in mm -hmm. the winter season, mm -hmm. we had something to eat. Yes. She would just go on that shelf and pull down Don't what peaches. we needed yes. or what she wanted to prepare. Mm. There was never a, a season where we were hungry because she did stuff in the summer to prepare for the cold, for the winter season, where we're going to need something warm, where she can bring our summer into our winter. We picked the peas. We picked the beans. She, she froze these things. We were mm. never in a famine because she stored up in a storehouse. We called it a storage room back then. But we won't do that in today. So the natural, so it is in the spiritual realm. You, we have to get that word and store it up. So when we get hungry, we can pull off the shelf what's already been labeled mm -hmm. in the winter, um, in the summer season, in your winter season. When everything is dried up, you can pull it off mm -hmm. and you can you can eat that word. And and listen, I, I just thought about this because we're trying to do it. You know it. My grandmother used to do it with them peaches. And them pears. Can, yes. And I know my mother's on here right now. And I, I'm not trying to. I just had a moment. Y'all just <laughs> let me take a moment. While you were speaking, I thought about them homemade biscuits she used to yes. make. And then she would, we would heat up them peaches and start mixing them in together. It wasn't no peach cobbler, but it was just as good. Yes. When you are in a famine, you work hard during the summer. And then when you can pull that off and eat it, how sweet it is yes. that you put in labor during the harvest season. So when the winter came around, yes. you could pull out your recipe and yes. add yes. to what was on the shelf. Yes, That's why your patience has to be along with your faith. Yes. Because we talk about what is put in the bread. The yes. woman that put it in the bread. I'm just talking about Somebody just go with me for a minute. <laughs> we still trying to find the full recipe of how my grandmother made them biscuits. Because we want to know what she put in the biscuits. Because when they rose up mm -hmm. out of the oven, we can pull what was stored up with what we put in the bread. And when we can bind them together, come on somebody, them things was good. <laughs> There's something when you can when you can put it all back together in your famine season, how sweet that word is to you. Don't mm. stop working. Yes. Don't stop coming mm. and getting the word because it you have to store it up. Mm -hmm. You going that those days are coming when you're gonna be hungry. You gonna be hungry and you don't have to go to nobody else's house and beg. Mm -hmm. Ooh, and that's what. <laughs> ooh, I'm just sorry, baby. That's the that's the next text. Mm, mm, this mm. is what we do. We we hook up with the wrong people when we starving. Verse 15, I'm going to let you take it over right after this. Verse 15 said, and he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country and he sent him into his field to feed swine. Mm, mm, mm. Come on, somebody. Jesus, I'm when, 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 when things go wrong, you hook up with anybody. Mm. When you are, uh, oh boy, I'm just, somebody don't know what I'm Come saying. On. When you are in a starving season, yes. I don't care if it's your eyes, it's your, uh, your, your flesh or yes. your pride, you will hook up with anything. Yes. Yes. Oh man, I'm just. I, I'm and just you kidding. will eat anything. anything. When you're hungry, you will eat anything. Mm. Listen, the, and, and don't be hungry in in terms of lust, mm. because you will eat anything. anything. So why not store this word up? Because a famine is going to come, mm -hmm. but it don't have to come to your house. Mm -hmm. My grandmother never stopped working. Neither did she allow her children to stop working. We were always, or her grandchildren, we were always doing something to prepare for what's to come. Mm-hmm. Even in the even back then, when when they they raised the pigs and whatever, to, and they killed them, and they all this meat that was stored in the freezer, there was never a famine. You gotta store that word up. You gotta you gotta do what you gotta do because you gotta know that these days are coming, and you can't go knock on people's door and beg for what they labored for. Mm -hmm. You. I'm going to say that again because that was just good to me. You cannot 
go and knock on somebody's door that they have prepared for their family and beg for what they have labored for. Or get offended if they say no. Or get offended if they say no. Now, that's the, now, now I want you to hear that is a natural. And the spiritual part of it is just the same. Mm, you can't mm, get mm. mad at somebody who, and, I, and I'm using this to make you understand, don't want to waste their oil. My Lord. I'll put their pearls. Do you know how you cried for that oil? Do you mm -hmm. know how you labored for that oil? Do you know the blood, mm -hmm. sweat, and tears that you have labored for somebody that ain't labored with you? That somebody that was having a good time while you was laboring. For somebody who was out there spending all their money doing whatever it is they wanted to do. And you in church, you laboring for a, a harvest because you know that you're going to have to feed your family. Mm -hmm. And verse, can I read this when we did it in the New Living Translation, yes. that same 16th verse? It said, the young man became so hungry that even the pods he was feeding the pigs looked good to him. And I love this text. But no one gave him anything. Mm -hmm. Let me, let me, I, I want to make sure I say this in a way that I, I want you to understand. We need to stop handicapping some people, enabling them. Mm -hmm. Listen, I, I, I pray for everybody, but there comes a time you're going to have to walk to the Father. That's right. I cannot carry you to the mm -hmm. Father. I know there are so many texts I can throw up there and balance it off of and saying, come on now. Yes. Yes, the four men that carried the lame man, he couldn't walk to the father, so they lowered him down. But he had to have enough faith in the four men that carried him to allow them to lower him down. See, it wasn't that he couldn't walk. His faith was walking. That's what was walking while he was still lamed in his bed. But some of us have the operation of our limb, limbs, and we will not walk to the father. I'm not going to sit here and carry a grown baby to the father when you can walk to the club, you can walk to your lust, you can walk to strange beds, you can walk to, to, to the work, you can walk everywhere else, but you won't take that walk from the pew to the altar to God. And I love it because he said, and nobody would do anything for him. Mm -hmm. There comes a time when you done preached and preached and preached and you got to leave that person with the Lord. Like we always say, uh, just leave them on the altar. But many of us don't like to leave somebody on the altar because as we walk away, we hear their crying. And the mother and the father in us want to turn around and go get the crying baby. And it's something when you, when, when, Pigs are eating something and you desire what the pigs are eating. Mm. But that's what the world does. We in the world, we do. We, we, we sit there and look at the church and say, I don't want that. Then we go run out in the world because we want what the world is eating. Mm -hmm. That's the pigs. That's the pigs. Yes. You desire it. You, 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 you crave it because you're hungry. Mm -hmm. Now, this is something so powerful also, baby. And I, I, it says in verse 17, and when he came to himself, mm -hmm. he said, how many hired servants of my father's have bread and enough and to spare? And I perish with hunger. I love this because we said when he came to himself, that means he had a change of mind. Can I read it in the CV yeah, I'll, version? Go ahead. He said, finally, he came to his senses mm -hmm. and said, my father's workers have plenty to eat. And here I am starving to death. In other words, the word is repenting. He repented. We, we learned that repenting is a reversal, <clears throat> a change of mind. And we say this, it's not turning away from one thing, but it's turning away from one thing and turning to uh, God. Yes, yes, yes. Because you, if you repent from cursing, but you turn to drinking, you didn't, you didn't repent, you just... You, you just removed something and replace it with another. Mm -hmm. But repentance is a, a reversal, mm -hmm. a change of mind, mm -hmm. and a turning away from something and turning, turning to, to God. God. Because if you don't turn <clears throat> to God, you're going to turn to lust for something different. When you move from the lust of the eye, you move to the lust of the flesh. Like, yes. And let me put it this way. When you move from the lust of the flesh, you just move to a greater lust of the flesh. Or that. Mm -hmm. 
You'll move from one thing to another, another thing. from mm -hmm. one lust of the flesh to another lust of the flesh. And we'll say it's not the same because it's wrapped up in a different package. So if you do not replace what you've turned from with God, you are probably jumping out of the pot into the fire. Mm -hmm. God has got to be who you're turning to. Yes, yes. And, and you said something. We got to stop handicapping people. Your legs work just like my legs work. We all had to take that walk. But some people just want to be fed. Some people just want to be carried. They want to be a baby. They just want to stay on the breast. They yes. call that person someone that is on milk. Mm -hmm. Where is your faith? We talked about this the other day. Faith walks. I'm so, we're so tired of people talking about faith. Talk is cheap. Faith walks. It's an action word. Mm -hmm. you, he says, n n uh, you, want, you want something done, you're going to have to walk your faith out. Mm -hmm. your, yes. your faith is the only thing that moves the hand of God. Your money don't move God. Your faith does. He yes. says your currency. He said, faith is your currency in heaven. Not, your, not this money that's here. That's just for the people that's here. But if you want to see God move in your situation... If you want to see the hand of God move, stop leaning to your own understanding mm -hmm. and get his understanding. Submit to his understanding. Submit to his word mm -hmm. and watch God yes. move in your life. Now, you said something that is so, and I love when the Bible just reiterates everything that uh, we reiterate, <laughs> reiterate everything that the, the Bible is saying. Yes. In verse 18, it says, this is what the prodigal son, I will arise mm -hmm. and go to my father. Mm -hmm. In other words, he's no longer going to sit there and allow people to feed him. Right. He's going to do the walking for himself. himself. In, yes. in the living, New Living Translation, say, I will go home to my father. That's mm -hmm. what he's going to do. Yes. He's going to go home to that's, his father. Yes. And I, that's so powerful because we must all remember that that's where our home is with the father. Yes. Yes. It's with the Father. Mm -hmm. No matter how far we have slid, and I'm just telling y'all, I, I don't even want to go into my story. There are a few people on there who, who live right next door to me that knew how far we were sliding away from God. And look where God has, a, has us at today. Mm -hmm. He said, I will arise. That means he's got to do something. He's going to put his faith into action. Yes. He's not talking about it. Now he said, I'm going to arise. See, first thing he did was make his confession. Yes. When he started making his confession, which we know that word is homo legeo, meaning to speak the same thing. Mm -hmm. He said, I'm going to arise his confession and it became his possession and he would go to my father. He didn't say go to the dinner table mm -hmm. when he was hungry. He didn't say I'm going to go find something in the refrigerator. He mm -hmm. said, I'm going to the father and I will say unto him, father, I have sinned against heaven mm -hmm. and before thee. Mm -hmm. And see, that's the issue that a lot of us have. Because we don't want to admit. Oh, baby, you don't jump. We don't. No, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I got something that I'm, I'm going. We don't want to admit that we have sinned against God and against our father, against mm. our parents. We don't want to admit because that's going to that's going to take away that it's going to take away that pride for one. Mm -hmm. It's going to take away that that um, that that I'm wrong spirit. Mm. I was wrong spirit. But un until we humble ourselves, some of us need to go back and do this. We need to go back and get it right. We need to go back and repent and get it right with the Father. The Father first and then with people. I don't want to put this out before the broadcast go out, but um, yesterday, and you know about it, I was on a Zoom, and I'm just going to tell this short story. I was on a Zoom with six pastors, and three of the pastors on this Zoom was white, and we were talking about what the church must do with everything that's going on. Mm -hmm. And listen, y'all, I, I I'm going to call these gentlemen names. I told them I was going to do this, and I'm going to call their name. And the last question we had, uh, it dealt with um, how do we forgive and restoration. And there was three pastors on there. Pastor Ben Miller, he was out of, uh, he was up from Greenville area. Pastor Clifton Noble, he was out of Augusta. And then we had Pastor Chris um, Hanley, he's from here in Florence, but it was Pastor Ben Miller that said this, and this text got me. He said, well, what do we need to do? And he was talking about for the black um, people of this country. He said, 
I know everybody's talking about reform, restoration. He said, but the first thing we need to do is go ask God for forgiveness for what we did to the black nation. Mm -hmm. He said, that's the first thing we need to do mm -hmm. is go back and ask God for forgiveness. Mm -hmm. He said, because the true forgiveness is we wasn't doing what God was saying. Now, I'm paraphrasing. I don't want to steal his, his thunder. But when I heard that white pastor say that, and he says, these pastors said, they've been out there preaching and into their church mm -hmm. that we cannot be silent. And I'm telling you, when I read that text again, it just echoed into my ear. And every one of them kept echoing and echoing and echoing the same thing, saying, you know what? We want Y'all want to put it on social media and do all this, which is good. Mm -hmm. He said, that's good. He said, but if we ain't doing it, social media don't mean anything. But this pastor said, the first thing we got to do is really repent which means a change of mind. He said, first, I got to go tell God, forgive me because I was wrong. Mm -hmm. And I call myself a child of God. And, and, and we, a lot of times mm. we'll move without repenting. Yes. We'll move without asking God for forgiveness. We'll move into doing things. And God says, I'm, that's, not the, that's not the kind. I, where, where, is the, where is the apology? Where is the repentance? Where is the really turning to me? You turned to me, but you mm -hmm. ain't said nothing. Mm -hmm. Yes. You, you turned, but there was no repentance. Yeah, you change your actions, but you didn't change your heart. Nothing is done until something is said. Saying and doing, because we do a lot of talking, but we still haven't done what he said. I have to, I've sinned. And then he said, he confessed, I have sinned against God in heaven. Mm -hmm. Heaven, and then I, be, I sinned to you. Mm -hmm. He went to his heavenly father, yes. and then he spoke. Realize what he was doing to his earthly father. And then we wonder why things still ain't lining up. Mm. God says, because you, you acting like something, but you still have not repented. You still have not asked me to forgive you for what you've done. You've just started moving. Mm -hmm. You just started doing something. Mm -hmm. And and because it's good or looks good, it still ain't that. That doesn't please me. Mm -hmm. We treat God like we treat people. Yep. Because see, you can do you you will do something to me, and instead of coming to me or saying, "Hey, I'm, I apologize," you will just start doing good stuff for me. Mm -hmm. that, but still, that you still have not done the first thing. Mm -hmm. We call that the honeymoon stage. We honeymoon honeymoon them until they feel good. Right, and if we're not mm -hmm. careful, that can be you can throw somebody really a a a a, a, a bait. A bait. Mm -hmm. You try to bait them with niceness. Mm -hmm. You try to bait them with gifts. Mm -hmm. You try to bait them with those manipulative words. But you still have not gotten it right. Because God judges the heart. He judges the heart. So let us move on down the road, babe, just a little bit. And I know you're gonna, you are gonna you got this from here, too. I'm just, I'm staying on the sideline. Mm -mm, you got it. It says... <laughs> <laughs> After he said, I have I've sinned against heaven and before thee. That's verse 18. Verse 19 said, and am no more worthy to be called thy son. Make me as one of thy hired servants. And he arose. After he started speaking, mm -hmm. he arose. See, he let his, <laughs> he, he wasn't just a hearer of the word. He was a doer of it. Yes. He just wasn't a, a confessor of it. He started doing, doing it. it. Yes. He said, I rose and came to his father. And I love this about the father. But when he, the father, saw um, yet a great way off, he, his father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. Mm -hmm. Now, see, this is what I love. And, and I had somebody try to debate this with me, saying that, you know, if he would have died in the, in the way off land or the foreign land, his father would have came and found him. How could the father come and found him, find him when he didn't know where he was at? So the father never left his position, mm -mm. but he will leave and come and meet you. Mm -hmm. Somebody missed that. That's good. He never left his position, but he will leave to come and meet you. And when the son was coming back, the father ran out and met him. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. in other words, while you out there doing whatever it is that you do, mm -hmm. God is not going to come and get you. He's, he's going to let you do whatever it is. But when he sees that you're coming, genuinely coming, when he looks at your heart and says, oh, this one, he's coming back for real now. She's coming back for real now. I'm gonna, he's going to meet us. 
And when you said that, I thought about this. The, the father, and, and I just seen somebody text that I was just about to say yeah. this. While you're in your sin, the father's sitting there waiting. Waiting. <clears throat> waiting. Waiting. Imagine this. Why? <laughs> I just was going to say that. Thank you, minister. I, I, I mean, he's just sitting there. Why are you doing your sin? He's sitting over there in the lounge chair talking about. He ain't not only he, is he waiting, he's just watching. He's watching. While you sinning. Think about whatever sin you're Ooh, in or whatever sin. You, we did. What, he ain't yeah. going to leave. He don't have to leave his throne he's to see. He's omnipresent. He's omnipresent. Mm -hmm. So whatever it is that you're doing, he's sitting there and he's watching you and he's waiting. Mm -hmm. Don't that right there just make you? Don't that just make you cringe? Think about if you ain't did it now. If you're not doing it now, think about the stuff that you were doing, mm -hmm. and God's just watching you. Somebody the told stuff me we be thinking about. Somebody told me one time while you out there doing all this that you're doing, can you don't you just imagine Jesus sitting on the corner of that bed? Mm -hmm. Right at the end of that bar. <laughs> or whatever it is we're out there doing. <laughs> Can I say this when I thought uh, and this when we say come back, somebody think it's a long journey. Mm -hmm. It is a long journey, but if you roll out of that strange bed and your heart is to come back to the Father, he'll meet you there. Yes, he will. That's why David said, if I make my bed in heaven, you're there. If I make my bed in hell, you're there. Yes. He's saying that when I really do repent, I don't have to look far mm -mm. because you are always, always there. there. He's waiting and he's watching. I love yes. that. The only reason, think about this too. The only reason the father could run out there and meet him because he was expecting his son to come home. God is always looking for us to come home. He's always searching and watching for his son to return back home. Yes. Isaiah 43 says, when you go through deep waters, I'll be with you. Mm. Deep waters. Mm -hmm. We have gone through, are going through, and will go through some deep waters. Mm -hmm. He's omnipresent. He says, I'll always be there. Yes. Always be there. We we forget because we, we're focused on the depths of the water. When we look at the depths of the water, we will forget. We won't look to see that God is there with us. Mm -hmm. And we'll talk to the wrong thing. And not knowing deep water is easy to swim in. It is. But you got to know who you who's out there with, with you. you. Can we move on down the road, babe? We're almost at our hour mm -hmm. turn. And it says in, in verse 21, it says, mm -hmm. And the son said unto him, when he got into the father, I have sinned against heaven. We already went mm -hmm. there. And in, the sight, and in thy sight, mm -hmm. I ascend in heaven in thy sight, and am no more worthy to be called thy son. Yes. But the father said to his servants, listen how powerful this is. When we come back weeping and crying and going on, uh, things are going on. He's saying what he's not going to be. He said, I'm no, um, no longer worthy to be your son, but a servant. Mm -hmm. The father turns and talks not to the son. He talks to the servant. Yes. He said, you want to be this, but I ain't talking to you because you are not a servant. This is my servant over yes. here. I loving my son, but I'm going to talk to my servant. Yes. Oh, man. I, he <laughs> talks to the servant. And, and I want to read it like they read it in the, uh, in, in the uh, New Living Translation. Um, it says that, but the father said to the servant, quick, bring mm -hmm. the finest robe in the house. Mm -hmm. Come on, the finest mm -hmm. robe. No, yep. no, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to take five more minutes. Listen, he just came from out of the pig pen yes. having pig dung in between his toes. Yep. Pig mud. Yes. Husk pieces all Smell, on him. Yes. Smelling, Smelling like, like the pig pen. Yes. The daddy... Didn't say, mm, you stink. Did he not. kissed him and said, servant. Listen, Lord Man, have mercy. Sometimes you know you got a loving father when he can kiss your stink. Yes, yes. Uh, he can hug on your stink. Yep. He ain't questioned it. He ain't talked about nope. your stink. He kissed your stink. Yes. Welcome you home. Welcome you home stinking Put and you... smelling like where you been. Yes. But he said, I'm not going to judge you according to where you been. I'm going to judge you or love on you according to where I'm about to put you. 
Not according to where you've been. Not according to where, what you smell like. Not according to what you have on you. I'm not worrying about that because what I'm about to put on you next is going to justify everything that's going on. And he did not answer the, father, the son's request. Mm, mm, mm. The son said, I'm a son that I want to be. I'm not worthy to be a son. I just want to be a servant. servant. And this thing just. Uh, yes. But Jesus said he was the son, but he came to serve. Mm. That's why he does not have servants that are sons. He, he has, has sons, sons that, that are, are servants. Come on, somebody. <laughs> this is why he has sons that are servants. Yes. Lord have mercy. And, Ooh, don't you just want to shout right there? That's right. Lord have mercy. Right and then he says, put him on the finest robes. Listen, he the ain't say go robes. take a shower first. Mm -mm. He said, mm. but his father said to the servant, hurry mm -hmm. and bring the best clothes mm -hmm. and put them on him. Yes, sir. Keep Give him ready. a ring for his finger and sandals for his feet. Mm. He ain't say go take them and, and wash them up first. He loved him where he was. Mm -hmm. This is, I mean, he loved him. And then not only that, he said, I'm going to throw a party for you. Go mm -hmm. get that mm -hmm. fatty calf. Mm -hmm. Go go, go kill it. Yes. And let us eat and be merry. Yes, yes, yes. And this yes. is what I love, he said, for this, my son, my son, mm -hmm. he, listen, Ooh, he didn't say my second child, my mm -hmm. oldest, he said, my, my son. son. Every time... One of us have returned to the father. He says, my son was dead. This is why we have to be born again. Mm -hmm. Was dead and is alive again. He was lost and he is found. And they began to be married. <laughs> Look at what he he just he he just celebrated his son coming back. Mm -hmm. He didn't chastise him. He didn't talk about where he was. Mm -mm. He he, just, he he was just excited. Now this is something that also he spoke the truth, but he also was speaking life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ooh. he spoke the truth, but he also was speaking life. Lord That's why the Bible said, "Let mercy. the weak say." That I'm strong. Let the weak say that I was strong. I'm strong. He says, my son was dead. Yes. And he's alive again. He but, was lost, but now he's fine. But that is the perfect opportunity to speak life. Mm -hmm. but, but you know what we'll do? When ours come back, we got to tell them what they did and why you did that and mm -hmm. da 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 da. That's the perfect opportunity to speak life into someone. Mm -hmm. Oh he spoke life into him. Mm, 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 mm. Can I say this right here? And and if y'all don't think this word is preaching to us, okay. there are times Ooh. when people walk back and Lord have and, mercy, and, and they're back, and you have the opportunity to say what the flesh want to say, and the Holy Ghost will say, "I always love you." I, there was, and you can only give him words of. Life. I'm leaving it right there. We treat people like mm -hmm. our, how our flesh want them to treat us. Mm -hmm. Treat them, and and but but when they come back, can you hear the Holy Ghost saying, "Minister to them, love mm -hmm. them, mm -hmm. love them." Ooh. Can you can you love them past the memory of what they did to you? Mm -hmm. Now, can we? Can, I'm, I'm gonna try to land now. Okay, we're gonna try to we land. Go <laughs> we're gonna try to land. I'm I'm so I'm so, I'm looking at I'm trying I'm blinking my eyes like they said. <laughs> If if you if I'm preaching that you just blink well if you, I'm preaching to myself if you're afraid to say amen <laughs> just you know if you don't want to raise your hands just blink real hard and I'm blinking listen. real hard right here I told y'all just listen Look, ooh, yes listen listen <laughs> and listen and listen again because when you are who you are in Christ. That person don't come always in the form of your natural son or your natural daughter. Mm, 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 mm. When you are who you are and where you are in Christ, can you receive those ones that mistreated you, the ones that talked about you, the ones that wanted that, that stabbed you so many times in your back you can't see your skin? 
can you, can Ooh. you, can you, can you speak life into him is mm. what I want to know. Now this is, ooh. Okay. Put I'm, your, uh, um, what is this? Put your, uh, your, your chair up put in your, the, Put your, your, your trays up, and, and put your seat in the upright, upright position. position cause and I'm, put, uh, put your seatbelt on yeah, too. Yeah, make sure your seatbelt on just in case. I'm going to land this thing. <laughs> I'm going to land this thing. I'm Because this is where we're going to land at. And Minister Keiti, I, I read his text on it. He said, but everybody ain't happy. Yeah, I know. I saw it. <laughs> but this is what I really want to point out. You can be in the house and be pulled out of the house. You can always be in the house. Yes. And you're looking at somebody who was outside the house. But when they come in, you get pulled out of the house. Mm. <laughs> Listen, it says, now his eldest son was in the field. I love it. He's out there working, mm -hmm. but many of us are working, but not worshiping. Yes. And he, he came and drew nigh to the house. Now, this is so important. Y'all y'all can hear these preachings. He was at the house, but he wasn't in the house. You mm. can be at church, but you're not in, in church. church. So he drew near to the house and heard the music and dancing. How many people walk by the church, hear the music, hear the shouting, hear the dancing in there, but they won't come in? Will not come in. Here it is. And he called one of the servants. This is a sad state of mm -hmm. events. He, he lives in the house yes. and he called one of the servants. And that's what this thing meant. He's talking to the servant. And the servant is going to repeat what he should do. He yes. says, he says unto him, thy brother is come. Mm -hmm. And thy father has killed a fatted calf because he has received him safe and sound. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is the part. And he was angry because of that. Mm -hmm. I'm just helping somebody. I'm just helping somebody. How can we be angry when the person that offends us walk into church and want what you should be portraying? What you should be showing? What you should be living? What you should be giving off? Mm. He was angry. Because somebody was in the house. Mm -hmm. Now we gotta be careful <clears throat> because I, I'm 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 trying to stay easy on this. Cause many people get mad when certain people come in church because they feel like they're gonna lose their position. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. They're gonna lose their power. Mm -hmm. They lose their portion. Mm -hmm. But this is the elder son who has already was his father's goods was already divided. To them, mm -hmm. the son already lost it. Mm -hmm. And he forgot his position as being the firstborn son. He was forever going to get a double portion. Right. Whatever the father was to add in, mm -hmm. he was still going to get another still double portion. Another but one. because the little brother came home, he thought he was going to lose something. But what he did, what he lost his faith, he lost his understanding of his position. Yes. He lost the sonship mm -hmm. of being the firstborn. Yes. The double portion because he didn't go all the way. He didn't cross over the Jordan to watch it fall when he was taken away. All right, let me, let me, let me, let me. <sighs> so he called a servant and what the servant told him. And he was angry and would not go in. He was angry and would not go in. Therefore came his father out and entreated him. Uh, this brother acts like some of us act. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. because, you know, you've watched anybody that got two children or more, you know, you got one that's going to act one way and the other one might act a totally different way. They're not twins. They mm -hmm. are not twins. They, they, and, and you don't love one more than the other. You deal with each one according to who they are. So this older brother and then saw the, uh, the youngest brother act a fool do whatever it is that he wanted to do. And here's the, the older brother. You he, He's here and he's working and he's doing what he's supposed to do. And and he had the attitude when the younger one came back. That, how dare you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and dad, how dare you receive him? You going to throw him a party? What y'all doing in here? That's crazy. Mm -hmm. What you throwing him a party for acting crazy? So he was working without worshiping. He was, oh, Lord. No. That's he, good. He was working without, without worshiping. worshiping. That means he was 
at church, but he, he was never in, in church, church, and church was never in him. Nope, because he did not have the heart. He didn't have the heart like the father did. He already had his hand. He had his hand, but, but he, he didn't never had he never developed the heart, heart. of mm -mm. the father. So you can be in a place, but the place never be in you. Right. So he never was in the father, and 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 I won't, I don't want to leave all of this text out of here because you you this thing is so good. And it said that when the father, oh, we got to plug that back in. Um, and he answered, uh, I'm, I'm trying to get back my spot. Verse 29. And he answered, saying to his father, Lo, oh, let, let me back up. Please forgive me. Verse 20. And he was angry and would not go. And therefore came his father out and entreated him. In other words, just like the father left the house to go meet the younger son coming in, coming back. When the old elder son did not come in, he went out to do the same thing. He did the same thing for both of them. Right. He did the same thing for, for both, both of them. them. He met them where they were. Where they were. Did you plug it in? I did. Mm. So he entreated them. He had a conversation with them. Yes. And he and he answered saying. To his father, lo, these many years do I serve thee, neither transgress thee. I at any time thy commandments, and yet thou never gavest me a kid that I might make merry with my friends. I'm, I'm going to try to land this thing because we are over time a little bit. At this text, he was angry and cold without rejoicing. Mm, mm, mm. He was angry and, and cold, cold without, without rejoicing. rejoicing. Jesus. The next text, 30, the first says, But as soon as this thy son was come, which have devoured thy living with harlots, thou hast killed him, the fatted calf. Listen what he's doing. Mm -hmm. He's complaining without relating. Mm -hmm. Y'all mm -hmm. know what I'm talking about. We complain about people that are in church, but we can't remember how it was once us. Go ahead. I want to read that again. This other son of yours wasted your money on prostitutes. And now that he has come home, you ordered the best calf to be killed for a feast. That's what we were just talking mm -hmm. about. Mm -hmm. You ordered that? You doing all of this after he done did this? And how quickly we forgot what he was doing. Because mm -hmm. in the truth of this text, and, I, and I, 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 we can dig so much in it, mm -hmm. he's in the house and wasting it also. And wasting it also. Yes. He's in the house yes. and wasting it. Yes. He has a gift and was wasting it. He was complaining without relating. In other words, he forgot where he came from. Right. And working without worship. Working without worship. We do a lot of that too in church. Mm -hmm. We are, we do church work and God mm -hmm. ain't no place in and it. And we don't do the work we, of the church. We do not do we do not worship God in what we do. We forget God a lot of times. Sometimes some some I, you know, we can be so focused on 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 let's say we got a, a a fundraiser if we're trying to build a church if we try you so we so focused on building a church till we forgot about the god of the church mm -hmm. our our focus is on the work and not on the worship mm -hmm. and then the church building project becomes our god and we wonder why it don't stand. Why it does? It, it becomes our God. It becomes our God. Yes. So let's read these last two verses, and then we're gonna uh, truly. As I heard my friend say, we'll clear the land. And it says this: And he said unto him, Son, thou art ever with me. He'll never leave us or forsake mm -hmm. us. And all that I have is thine. Mm -hmm. It was meet that we should make merry and be glad. Yes. For this thy brother was dead and is alive again and was lost and is found. He repeated it to his son. Yes. At this stage, he continued without repenting. Yes. Because the text never said or let us know that the elder son ever came back into the house. Mm, mm, mm. Never, never said what the text was. So the, the title is, don't be pulled out of your blessed place and know who's doing the pulling. Mm -hmm. James 1, 15 through 17 says it this way. Then when lust has conceived, mm. it brings forth sin. Mm -hmm. And sin, when it is finished, bring up death. Yes. Do not err, my beloved brother. 
every good gift and every perfect gift is from above. Yes. And cometh down from the Father of light, with whom is no variables, neither shadow of turning. Mm -hmm. Listen. Mm -hmm. you, you, listen. I'm telling you this. Make sure you understand it is a... He, Jesus told us to use a net. He never told us about using the bait. Go ahead. Yes, because you know I'm going to read it in the CEV version so that I, it can be clear to you. Our desires make us sin. And when sin is finished with us, it leaves us dead. Don't be fooled, my dear friends. Every good and perfect gift comes from down from the Father who creates all the lights in the heaven. He is always the same and never makes dark shadows by changing. He wanted us to be his own special people, and so he sent the true message to give us new birth. Mm. Yes. Lord so have mercy. We know now. Watch what we desire. And who is pulling us out. Yes. We said we blame it on the enemy. But in this story, it may be just the inner me mm -hmm. that is actually dropping it down and causing us to bite a hook that we really don't, or bite a piece of bait or bait that we really don't need. Yes. When you're in a famine, you'll eat anything. Yes. But I love this story so much, this crown and jewel. When, the, when what we call the prodigal son, the one that wasted it all, when he came to himself, when he repented, he confessed with his mouth and he believed in his heart. And that's when everything started. Mm -hmm. There are many people out there that don't understand this text, but I'm telling you right now, when the son said, only thing I got to do is rise up and go back to my father. Yes. If you're out there, you don't know who Jesus is. I'm telling you right now, just confess him as the son of God and that he was raised on the third day for our yes. justification. And you'll make your way to the father. He's going to meet you yes, on your way is. coming home. Yes. He, when you have a heart change, mm -hmm. when you have that mind change and that heart change yes. and repentance is a, a reversal, a change of mind and turning to the father. Yes. And then there's that person who was just like the prodigal son. We backslid. We was in the house. We was mm -hmm. with the father. We went out and did it our way. But we came to ourselves and we're making it back. He's gonna. He's forever married to the backslider. He put a ring on it with the son. He He's going to always put a ring on it with us. Yes. He's going to always be married to us. And then there's that person that need prayer out there. I know we all asking for prayer. But if you haven't prayed the word of God in your prayer and his desire, Seek the scriptures for the prayer you need to pray. And we're going to agree with you as in touching. And that anything you ask in Jesus' name, yes. the Father will grant it. And once again, if you're out there and you need a home church, listen, I know some pastors out there. They're doing parking lot services. They are the pastors I talk to. They're doing an outstanding job. I may not be your pastor. And if I'm not your type of pastor, just contact us. I, I, Believe me, if you contact and say, I need to talk to the pastor about another church, I want to know the other pastors, I promise you, our administrator will give me your number and I will contact you and send you to some pastors I know. So if you're any, under any of those requests right now, right in your home, just go ahead and raise your hands. Just raise your hands. And I want to pray with you before we do our giving. God, we thank you right now that if there's a person out there who desires to call you their father, they want to get to know you. God, because they confess it with their mouth and they believe it in their heart. God, right now, they are saved. Their yes. name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. We thank, thank you, you, O Lord. Father, that they are now on God's team. Yes, God, Jesus. we are praying right now for that soul that is ready for a comeback because you are forever married to the backslider. God, we thank you for the addition that is in, on your team, the thank kingdom you. team. God, we're just asking you right now that the prayers that has been submitted unto you, you told us when we first prayed it, you heard it and you sent an answer. Well, God, we are agreeing with that person prayer right now yes. that we should break it away from the Prince of Persia, God, and it shall 
it is set out to do what you have already sent it out to do our answer as Jacob sent up angels or uh, the angels were descending and ascending God that's how our prayers are coming we're sending them up and you're sending down blessings yes, God we just thank you right now and God we just want to give you a yet praise for every person that yes, is added to the kingdom of God Jesus. and that will do your purpose God thank we you. thank you and we love you and we honor you for yes. those that are added to the kingdom we love you and we honor you in Jesus' in name. In Jesus' we pray. name. Amen. 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 And before we close out this broadcast, you know, we always give in this house. We've been doing what we always do, which is give in this house. We have numerous ways of giving. Our first way of giving, and you can do it via our website, strongtowercm.org. Go to the REM giving button and we can give there. The other way of giving is through our, um, or you can text capital, all capital letters, STCM to 36256, and you can give that way. The last way is through our cash app. Mm -hmm. It's dollar sign, yes. STCM, all caps, 1810. I know it's posted on the screen right now. We thank you for trusting us, trusting us, trusting thank us. Thank you. Um, trusting us with the word of God yes. and for what we are preaching and what God has laid on our heart for the people of God. Yes. And I am so confident that one thing, that it's impossible us to pastor Florence. That's, that's, listen, I'm not everybody's pastor. We're not everybody's pastor. But if I'm, or if we're the voice for you, hang in there because God has the word of life for you through his vessel. We're just an instrument. Yes. That's all we are. Yes. And we're going to keep doing what thus says the Lord. So we want to pray over your giving, and I'm going to give the benediction at the same time. Yes. And then we will see you again on Saturday. Saturday. For those that are on PI. Yeah. You want to pray or you want me to pray? You pray. Okay, I'm going to pray. Let us pray. Thank you, O Father, for seed for the sower, for all those that are given into your kingdom to do what thus says the Lord. God, we make this declaration, God, that we will do what you have called us to do with every seed that is sown into this ground, this ground called Strong Tower. Yes, Your Lord. name, God. Thank you, Jesus. We will not mess with the gold, God. We will not mess with the glory, God. And for me, I'm not going to mess with the girls and my wife is not going to mess with the guys. Thank so, God, you, we thank you right now that we're going to be truly Yes. Those that stand before you in spirit and in truth with honor and humility. Yes, For Jesus. everyone that's given out there, God, I ask you to bless them a 30 or 60 or 100 fold. You know what their need is, God, yes, God, before we even agreeing in this prayer. Now, God, as we depart this broadcast, but never your yes. presence, God, we ask you to cover each and every person with Psalms 91. Yes. We ask you, oh God, to give them that that push to dwell in the secret place of the Most High. Yes, Jesus. And not look with their eyes, but look with their faith which is in their heart. Yes. And God, give each and every person sweet rest tonight, God. Give them a recharge tonight. Give them visions and dreams that when we rise up in the morning, we will always give you honor and praise. Yes, Lord. It is in Jesus' name in we Jesus pray. Name. Amen, amen and amen. amen. Family, we love you all to life for real. We will not take it back. We will add, add more, more to it. it. We love you and we'll see you on Saturday. God bless you all. Amen.